Delivered, written by a highly esteemed prophets, Prophet Hubert Angel and Prophetess B.B. Angel. Good morning. Hello, it's Alwanza. Welcome. Thank you for joining me. Reading to you today's rumor word written by, uh, from the Good News Daily, written by Prophet Hubert Angel and Prophetess B.B. Angel. I thank God for them, my highly esteemed prophets, for this word and this opportunity to spread the word. And they make it so easily to be understood, so easily to be distributed, to share it. So, hello, 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 and good morning once again. And that brings us to our lesson, which is titled Delivered. So let us dive right on in. <laughs> And our lesson is coming from Colossians chapter 1 and verse 13. And I'm reading from the Good News Daily. So if you haven't already, head on over to goodnewsworld.com. And once you get over there, click on languages and download your very own daily scripture. Download your PDF format um, of the Good News Daily. Okay, and then you have your own word, carry it with you and always refer to it. Always ref be refreshed. Read it before you go to bed at night. When you wake up in the morning, listen to it right here. Okay, and um, so let's get to it. Deliver. Colossians 1 and verse 13. Who have delivered us from the power of darkness and have translated us into the kingdom of his dear son? Wow. The kingdom of his dear son. Let's see what the scriptures say. <laughs> My mind is turning, y'all. Our scripture for today says, you have been delivered. You are not looking for deliverance, but in the mind of God, you are past that stage. So you're already delivered. Delivered. And that's how Colossians 1.13 opened. And it says, who have delivered us? Jesus has already delivered us. The only problem is that many have not heard the good news. And so the devil is able to take advantage of their ignorance and keep them in bondage. So if you think you need to be delivered, you ignorant and the devil has you in bondage. I didn't say it. It's written. And it's just a strong word and it's just heavy and it's just Come out of believing you need to be delivered. You are already delivered. We are not ignorant. And it says, this is why the Bible says that you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. See that you're not, you're not, you're not in bondage. We're not needing deliverance because the truth has set us free. When you took on Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, guess what? He is the truth. So the truth is now in us. So we are set free. We are not. No, 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 no. We're not set free. No, no, no. We are made free. He made the truth makes us free. And it says that Jesus is the way, the truth and the life. He is the truth. He is the truth. I like that. <laughs> and he has made us free. It is only the truth you know that can liberate you. The more Jesus you know, the freer you are. When the law to abolish slavery was passed in the United States of America, all slaves were now free by law from slavery. However, there remained some who did not get this information at the time. Can you imagine? Or just the world has been set free and you still living over there against your will because you didn't know anything being a slave. Even though the law of the land had set them free in the minds, they were still slaves. Unaware of the new laws, they continued to serve their old master. They had not received the good news. They were unaware of their new status. Being free is good news. Free, free is good news. Oh my goodness. They could not take advantage of what they did not know. Wow. Let's see how the prophets bring this one on in. My goodness. 
You are free from the power of darkness. You have been translated into the kingdom of his dear son. Translated. You don't have to do anything. So it's like you've just been moved from one place to another. And this place now that we are in is a kingdom. Jesus kingdom. The old rules don't apply to you anymore. It doesn't matter your family history. Oh my goodness. It doesn't matter where you've come from. You will be the first millionaire. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Being free. Include, you are a millionaire in freedom. You are a millionaire. We don't need dollars in the kingdom. No, so that is a millionaire right here on earth. You are free. This is good news knowledge. You are already delivered, brother. You are already delivered, sister. You are free. Get a hold of the good news. Don't live ignorant of your inheritance. Don't live ignorant. Your inheritance makes you a millionaire. It just brings good news. <laughs> it's, it's a good thing. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. That brings us to our prophetic declaration. How, oh, I want to know what the prophets have and what they have said, what they're declaring over us right now. I am so excited because I've been made free. I am a millionaire. That is part of my inheritance. Oh my goodness. The prophetic declaration, I'm going to read it aloud and we're going to agree and you're going to repeat it after me. I was delivered from the power of darkness and Satan has nothing in me. I have been empowered to live and enjoy the life God has given me. I am not ignorant of the good news my goodness i'm so excited i know it i feel like i'm yelling it's like i am so excited i have all this energy in me that is trying to get out because i'm so excited y'all i can jump right now my inheritance i'm in the kingdom of god like i am free i'm telling you i'm telling you i'm telling you it says now that brings us to our further study which is taken from Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6 and I know you hear prophet singing in the background from his songs of CD this is track one yeah yeah oh all right so Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6 says my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. If you don't know what God has for you, you 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 don't know how to walk in it. You 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 won't know you won't know how to move forward. So when the enemy says something or when someone comes at you sideways, if you don't know what God says, what what are you standing on? And you'll just believe them. And that's not, what the enemy is saying is not what God says about you. It's not how he feels about you. Because God loves you unconditionally. My God. He, he, he has set, he has made us free. And given us money. Given us prosperity. To continue living. In this world, in this kingdom. That he has translated us into. On that note, it brings us to the end. I am never out of words. But I am out of time this great and wonderful morning. So until next time, see you guys. Bye.